When is the best time to insulate a pole barn? Can you do it in the winter or do you need to wait for a beautiful spring day like this? Let's talk about it. So when is the right time to spray a building like this? We actually waited through the winter and didn't start spraying this building until the spring for several different reasons. One, we had a very particular demanding customer, which is their right. They're paying a lot of money for this service. They should have high expectations for the end result. Now, for things to consider, Especially when you have steel siding like this and a steel roof. One, when it's really, really cold. If you're spraying closed cell onto it, the closed cell will hardly yield at all. That's one consideration. And now what that means, yield just means the expansion, right? So if you spray closed cell onto this, it will hardly uh, expand at all, which closed cell doesn't expand a lot to begin with. So that's a big thing to keep in mind. As a contractor, you could just blow through material trying to get to your goal depth. Now, additionally, you have condensation as a major concern. The other thing is the foam spraying out hot onto this cold metal, that by itself can create some condensation. And anytime you have condensation, your foam can potentially not adhere to the surface. You get what's called delamination. So if that foam starts to fall off, now of course that foam is wasted and you're wasting time trying to get that uh, surface either up to temperature so that you can apply a pass that will actually stick and you're trying to fight potential condensation issues. So when you're spraying a metal building in the winter time, there's a lot of things to consider and there's a lot of complications that can come up. This goes for the walls as well as the roof. If you're trying to apply a foam to a metal surface that's cold, you're gonna see a lot of challenges. Now I mentioned closed cell, but this goes for open cell as well. Open cell tends to be a little bit more forgiving in colder temperatures as, and on colder surfaces like metal, but you can still have those same complications. Are there ways for you to combat the winter and install a building like this in winter time? Yes, you can. You can try to heat the building in a couple different ways. Do not use heaters that give off humidity. Keep that in mind. You can do flash coats. There's other spraying techniques that you can try to use, but no matter what, it is going to be an uphill battle. Make sure you're talking to your customer about that because you may need to add some cost to the project to make up for the waste and material, the time it's gonna take to prepare that building. Ultimately, it might be better sometimes to wait till the spring. So if you think this could help you with your pole barn, go to our link below, go to our find a dealer page to see if your local retro foam dealer can help you in your pole barn. This is the Professor Foam reminding you that building is a science.